In this video, we will be creating a navigation view, like this one in Android Studio, where we will have 10 menu items with icons structured into three groups. We will look into how to highlight the selected item and later, we will also see how to add a header to the navigation view. So first, we will create a navigation view. Width will be wrap content and height match parent. I will set ID to NV underscore side. So as you can see, the navigation view will appear like this from the side where we can open and close the drawer. So instead of using constraint layout, we will use a drawer layout. I will set layout gravity to start. I will also set fit system windows to true. Now, we will add a constraint layout, and we will have a text view inside that constraint layout to display the text of selected item. Height and width match parent. Text view. Height and width wrap content. I will set ID as TV underscore SNV. I will place this text view to the center of the layout. So, Top to top of parent. Bottom to bottom of parent. Left to left of parent. Right to right of parent. Text size 16. Text style bold. Text color black. For constraint layout, I will set margin top to action bar size. For the navigation view, we need to assign a menu. So right click on resources, new. Android resource directory. Select menu under resource type and click on OK. After that, right click on menu, new menu resource file. I will name it as side underscore tabs. Here, I will create 10 items. I will create the image assets for these items later. Each item will have an ID and title as of now. Those 10 items will be home, promotions, updates, sent, drafts, profile, spam, trash, settings and logout. So, menu, side underscore tabs. So here, we cannot open the drawer. We need to enable the home button for support action bar and also set an action bar draw toggle. I will create references to draw layout, text view, navigation view and I will also create an action bar draw toggle object. Draw layout, draw layout. Navigation view in V underscore side. Text view TV underscore SNV. Action bar draw toggle toggle. Draw layout equals find view by id at dot id dot main. And v underscore side equals find view by id at dot id dot in v underscore side. tv underscore snv equals find view by id at dot id dot tv underscore snv. And v underscore side dot set navigation item selected listener. So when we select logout, we will close the app. And when we select any item, we will display the title in text view. Return true. TV underscore SNV dot set text item dot get title. If item dot get item ID equals a dot ID dot SNV underscore logout. Then finish affinity. It will finish all open activities. Now, we will create the toggle. Toggle equals new action bar draw toggle. Activity this, draw layout. We need to set open and close for toggle. We cannot pass the string open and close here, we need to add a string resource to strings.xml. 
string name equals navigation underscore draw underscore open value will be open. String name equals navigation underscore draw underscore close value will be close. Add dot string dot navigation underscore draw underscore open. Add dot string dot navigation underscore draw underscore close. And finally, draw layer dot set draw listener toggle. Toggle dot sync state. If we do not set sync state for toggle, then the home button will remain constant irrespective of the state of the draw, that is, it is open or closed. So if we set sync state, Draw button will have separate buttons for open and close. And finally, we will enable the home button. Get support action bar dot set display home as up enabled true. Get support action bar dot set home button enabled true. Now we have enabled home button and we have also set the toggle as well. We need to open or close the draw when we click on the toggle. So, on options item selected. If toggle dot is on options item selected item, then return true. You can see here the home button changes based on if the draw is open or closed. When we select an item, the title is displayed in text view. We will set a padding top to navigation view. Padding top, let us say 50. I will also set a text color. Item text color, hollow blue dark. Now, whenever we select an item, we will close the draw. So inside on navigation item selected, before the return statement, draw layout.close draws. And whenever we click on back button, we will close the draw as well. Get on back press dispatcher dot add callback. This new on back press callback true. If draw layout dot is open, draw layout dot close draws. Else, finish affinity. Okay, I forgot to set through here. Now, we will distribute these 10 items into 3 groups and make them look more organized. Item Menu I will create 3 such menus. First two menus will have three items each and the third menu will have four items. So for the first menu, I will set the item title to main. It will have home, updates and sent. For the second menu, I will name the item as personal and it will have promotions, draft and profile. For the third menu, I will name the item as others and it will have all the remaining items. Now, I will create image assets for all 10 items.
Now we will do one thing, we will highlight the selected item. So to do it, we need to create a group inside the submenu. Group. And then, we need to set checkable behavior to single. So we have done this only for the first submenu. And you can see the result as well. This will not show for the items inside remaining two submenus. So we will repeat the same for remaining two submenus as well. Now, we will create a layout file and then set it as headed to the navigation pro. We will not do anything fancy, just a simple text and background color. Header layout. Right click on layout, new, layout resource file. I will name it header. I will set a background color to it. Also, I will add a simple text view as well. Text view, height and width wrap content. Text, welcome. Top to top of, parent. Bottom to bottom of, parent. Left to left of, parent. Right to right of, parent. Text size, 16. Text style bold and text color, black. Here, we have let the height and width of constraint layout remain match parent. So, we will set the height to let us say 250 now. By default, the draw is scrollable. So to show it more clearly, I will increase the size of the header.xml file. 